Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, let us discuss about the second data structure called hash of arrays. Hash of arrays means a hash having key value pairs where value is a array reference. You can create hash of arrays in two ways. First, by using a simple hash percent symbol, otherwise by using a reference. Then the key value pairs have to be enclosed in curly braces. Now to access the elements inside this array reference which is a value in this hash. For example, I want to access the first element in this array reference. For this, just write hash name, then enclose the key in curly braces as this array reference is starting with square bracket you have to use an arrow symbol then give the index number 0 now to access elements in this hash reference give the hash name as the hash reference starts with curly brace that means we have to use an arrow symbol Enclose the key name in curly braces. To access the element in this array reference, then again you have to use an arrow symbol as our array reference starts with square bracket. Then give the index number here. This is how you can access the elements inside the array reference where it is a value in this hash of arrays. Now let us see a detailed example. In this program, I am going to explain on how to create hash of arrays and generate a hash of arrays from a simple array. For this, I have created a hash of arrays where it has three key value pairs and each value is an array reference having some scalars. To access this hash, for each on this hash access the keys first as each value is an array reference we have to dereference it for this at the rate dollar and to access the values we have to make sure that we are writing the key in curly braces let us test it this is how you can access a hash of arrays. Now how to access certain element like for example this one. For this we can just use and then give the key name as value is an array reference we have to write an arrow symbol here and we want to access this element that means it is there in second index test it this is how you can access the elements inside the array references of a hash of arrays now if a hash of arrays is a reference for example this is a reference dollar and if it is an anonymous hash that means it has to enclose in curly braces as this is a hash reference we have to make sure that we are dereferencing it to dereference it just use person dollar and here we are dereferencing the array reference but it is there inside a hash reference so we have to make sure we are using an arrow mark here while accessing each value now while you are trying to access a certain element then you have to make sure that you are giving an arrow mark even though you are 
accessing the key because this is a hash reference and if a hash reference is starting with curly brace that means we have to use an arrow mark here now let us test it it's the same output using a hash reference now let us see on how to generate a hash of arrays using a simple array for this i have created an array called lines where some domain names are ending with com some domain names are ending with edu and there are some range of numbers from 10 to 15 i have created an empty hash of arrays and now i'm going to construct this hash of arrays for each on the arrays lines use a regular expression here I'm going to write a subroutine called make a hash where I'm sending a message com as well as the value as I have strings Ending with edu as well, I have to change the message here. I will be implementing this subroutine. Else, just pass a message like number and the current value. Now let us implement this subroutine. In this subroutine, I am taking two parameters. One is the key name and the line. Use a special array to save the parameter values. just use exists function whether the key exists or not if it exists you have to push it into an array reference so you have to make sure that you're dereferencing the array reference and the line else just make sure you are constructing the key value pair that means to the first index that means the 0th index you have to make sure that you are assigning the line value now let's use a data dumper Perl module and try to print this hash Make sure you are always passing a reference. This is how you have constructed a hash of arrays using a simple array. Now, what if you want to construct with the help of a reference? For that, you just need to do a simple change as it is a hash reference just replace percent with dollar because we are constructing a hash reference for this hash of arrays and here when you are accessing the keys of a hash reference that means you have to make sure that you are writing an arrow mark here and here while accessing the elements you have to make sure that you are writing an arrow and pass the hash reference to the dumper Perl module this is how you have created a hash of arrays using reference